Hey everyone, so here's a question on uh, rounding of the number. The question is, round the given number, the nearest tens, and we have four questions to solve. The first one is 48, second is 59, third is 64, and the last one is 215. Now, let's start this. Here they're asking us to round off the number to nearest tens. Means, uh, I'm going to explain you by taking the first example. So the first question here is 48. Now. Whenever they're asking us to round off to nearest tens, we know that the first one is ones place and the next is tens place. Now we have to round off to nearest ten. This means you have to check the number in the ones place. Okay, the previous digit you have to check. Now here we have eight. Now again, if the number is five or it's greater than five, then you have to add one to this number which is in tens place. If the number in the ones place is less than five, that is one, two, three or four, then you don't have to add anything to the number in the tens place. You have to just make the number zero. Okay, that's it. Zero means I'm going to explain you. For example, in this question 48, they're asking us to round off to nearest tens. Means I'm going to check the number in the ones place. In the ones place, I have a 8. Now, 8 is greater than 5. This means I'm going to add plus 1 to the number in the tens place. So, 4 plus 1, we're going to give me 5. And the remaining digit will become 0. That is, 8 will become 0. So, this answer will be 50. So, 48, when you round it off to the nearest 10, it will be 50. Now, second question, 59. Again, same thing. They're asking us to round off to nearest tens. So I'm going to check the number in the ones place. In the ones place, we have 49. Now, since 9 is greater than 5, or it is like it should be equal to 5, or it should be greater than 5. Since it's greater than 5, I have to add plus 1. Like I have to add 1 to the 5. So 5 plus 1 will going to become 6. So this will be 5 will become 6. And the remaining number, that is 9, will become 0. Okay. The next C, we have 64. Now, we have to again check the number in the ones place. We have 4 here. Now, since 4 is less than 5, we don't have to add anything to the ones in the tens place. That is, to the, to the 6, I'm not going to add anything. If it is greater than 5 or it is equal to 5, in those case only, we have to add 1 in the to the number in the tens place. So, here it is less than 5. I'm not going to add. So this 6 will remain 6 and this 4 will become 0. Okay. The next one, the last one, it's 215. Same thing, we have to check the number in the ones place. It's 5. Like I said before, if the digit is 5 or it's greater than 5, then we have to add 1 to the digit in the tens place. In tens place, I have 1. So 1 plus 1 will be 2. So this will become, so the 2 in the 100 place will remain same and this 1 plus 1 will be 2 and the 5 will become 0. So this was a simple question. I hope it's clear. In case you have a further questions, you can drop a comment. Thank you so much for watching.